Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be painting this line and wash painting of a winter scene from Finland of these beautiful winter silver birch trees. I've been inspired by a photograph that I found from Pixabay that I've painted before. Um, it's a black and white photograph, and so I've converted it to a limited palette snow scene, um, just using a few simple colours. Um, starting off with some inked in line work, which I think really suits this scene. I started off simplifying the scene and sketching it out very lightly in pencil and then I went over that with waterproof fine liners. I like Faber-Castell artist pit pens um, and I used um, a size fine, I think it's a 0.3 millimeter for this. You can see that I've got a simple um, rows of uh, sort of background trees, a few grasses in the foreground sticking out of the snow and of course the birch bark textures and some overlapping branches. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper 11 inches by 15 inches or 28 centimetres by 38 centimetres. It's taped to my board and my board's at an angle of about 20 degrees and I'm using a large wash brush to wet the page all over and then I will just be using a limited palette of indigo and lavender and burnt sienna to paint the painting.
So that's the background painted with a nice graduated wash of lavender with a touch of indigo and then the same colour in the snow to reflect the sky. Now that I've left it to dry, I can go in and just with my third colour, burnt sienna and a small calligraphy brush, but you can use any brush with a small fine point to dab in some subtle colour into the birch trunks. All that remains now are just a few details so I'm going to use the rigger brush and with some burnt sienna add a few lighter grasses across the foreground not too many but just to warm it up with a little bit of detail and then I'm going to take an acrylic uh, Posca pen in white and I'm going to flick in just a few white branches here and there just to add some highlights a little bit of snow a suggestion of snow and just to add a bit of variety to um, the way the pattern of overlapping branches is working bring some of them forward push others back just bring a little bit of light and a little bit of variety into the scene It looks especially nice where the white goes over the darker distant trees there. And at this point you can also go back in with your black fine liner and add a few more twigs and branches if you think the painting needs it. So I'm going to remove the tape now and have a look and see how it looks with its clean white border. But I think that'll do. It's nice and simple. I think the subtle burnt sienna in the, in the, against the pattern in the birch tree trunks works really nicely here. And just those few little grasses in burnt sienna complements that as well. And I like this lavender blue with a bit of indigo for the sky and the snow colour. 
And while we can often leave unpainted paper for the snow, I think it's quite nice to um, recognise how reflective snow can be and that it does reflect the colours around it. In this case, that lavender blue sky. If we look closer, then you can see that the simple um, line work texture on the tree trunks um, is quite effective here. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, please um, let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you are like me and really enjoy painting silver birch trees, especially in autumn or winter scenes like this one. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to support the channel, then please follow the links below to Morgana's Patreon or my Patreon. We'd love to see you there in the group. So thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. Um, and we'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.